Hi guys, it's Hannah from Half Acre Heart and today I'm going to be sharing with you my 2022 seed haul. Now, this is not all of the seeds that I will be planting in my spring garden this year, but um, I did learn a lot from last year and I did a lot of experimentation and this year I'm going to be focusing more on production. Um, so I ordered seeds from two different places from Baker Creek Heirloom Seeds, which I got seeds from last year and was very happy with them. And then a new place that I haven't tried before and that's Johnny's Seeds. Um, from Johnny Seeds, I only got sunflower seeds because yes, I'm focusing on production. However, I'm also focusing on flowers and flower production um, just because I love flowers and I love being able to bring them into my home. Last year, I mostly did zinnias and a few dahlias and um, I did do sunflowers, but I mainly did like the mammoth ones. So this year I want to do more cut sunflowers so I can bring them into my house. Um, but we're going to start with the Baker Creek heirloom seeds. I got some sweet alyssum, the tall white variety. I already have alyssum in my garden. In fact, it's still going from last spring, um, but I wanted to get a taller variety because my other one is very short. Um, it's a great pollinator. It's heat hardy, it's cold hardy. It's one of my favorite things to grow at this point, but I wanted more um, height so that I can add it to arrangements. So that's why I got the tall alyssum. And then this is Craig's Grande jalapeno pepper. We did not grow any jalapenos last year. Um, we grew Buena Mulata peppers, also from Baker Creek last year for our spicy peppers. And they were a little bit too spicy. Um, and I took those and I made hot sauce, which by the way, if you make hot sauce with them, your hot sauce is pink. Um, but I have like, five bottles. That's plenty to make us through next year. Um, I wanted something a little bit more mild, putting salsas and whatnot. So we're going to be growing jalapenos this year. And then the other pepper that we're going to be growing is the yellow monster pepper. Look how huge those are. So I already have some green bell peppers in the garden. Um, I'm going to, I'm attempting to overwinter them. So we'll see, but if not, that's fine because this is what I want to replace them because my green bell peppers, um, they produce, but they're kind of small. So I wanted something that naturally was going to get bigger. So that way, even if it was smaller, it was still <laughs> plenty usable. Um, so yellow monster peppers, really excited about those. And then we're going to be growing some German chamomile and we're going to be using this for tea. My husband is very much into tea. He can't drink coffee anymore. <laughs> so he's been drinking black tea in the mornings, but he also wanted like a calming tea for the evenings. So we're gonna be growing the chamomile. Now, another pepper that we're going to be growing is this ahi chachucha. And not gonna lie, I picked it for the color variety that we get because since we won't be growing the buena mulatas anymore, those ones were purple um, and the other peppers. So the yellow monster will get yellow and green from that. We have banana peppers, which are like a pale yellowy green, um, but we don't have much other color. And these ones, I believe they're another, um, yeah, so they're pretty mild. It says they're less hot than a jalapeno. So I wanted another mild pepper because I do eat a lot of peppers. I wanted to grow a lot more of what we actually eat. So, um, I don't really like tomatoes. We are still growing some tomatoes, but, um, only paste tomatoes because we'll be making sauce and ketchup and whatnot with them. Um, so we'll just be growing the two varieties on like two panels in one bed. Um, so yeah, I'm focusing on what we actually eat. So we're not going to be growing the eggplants like last year either because I don't really like eggplant and neither is my husband. Um, so yeah, more peppers, less tomatoes, more herbs, more flowers. And another one that we're growing is yarrow. This is Parker's variety yarrow and we're growing this for medicinal purposes. So I will be making salves out of this. Um, we already have some yarrow in the garden bed, but it's only one plant and it has spread a little bit. Um, but if we're going to be making salves, we need more. So that's where that comes in. And then another flower that we're adding is this Gombrina 
Um, this is a mixed one, so we'll get multiple colors from it. Looking at the picture, it's mainly purple and white, um, which is fine. So just more flowers. Uh, Japanese Kiro Cosmos. I haven't grown Cosmos before, but um, they were recommended to me because they're so easy to grow, like the zinnias. We will still be growing zinnias again this year. Um, I don't see how we can't because they have just reseeded wherever they want. Um, so we're growing them whether we like them or not. And then, so this is the free seed that I got. Uh, terracotta tomatoes. I actually grew these last year. Um, so these I will probably be giving away. I did just do a giveaway for seeds on my Instagram of all the seeds that I am not growing this year that I grew last year. Um, some of them open, some of them not. Um, so if you don't follow me on Instagram, make sure you do because it's worth it. So these will be given away at some point soon. Um, and then the last thing that I ordered from Baker Creek is this heavy hitter okra. I am very excited about this. Um, we grew okra last year. We love okra, fried in smoothies, whatnot. Um, we had three plants, I think. Um, and they did okay, but I wanted something that was higher production. That's the focus for this year. So heavy hitter okra. And that is all that I got from Baker Creek. Now on to the Johnny seeds. Again, these are all um, sunflowers and they don't have pictures on them like the Baker Creek seed packets do. Um, but I wanted a variety of different colors. Um, and in another video, I will have to show you the space that I prepped for them because they're not going, the cut flowers at least, are not going in uh, my current garden beds, the raised beds. Um, the only sunflowers that will be going in my raised beds will be the mammoth sunflowers. I'll be doing some mammoth sunflowers in there again this year. Um, so this is the Pro Cut White Light. And it's a nice pale, pale yellow um, with a pale center. They also have a white night, which the um, petals are the same color, but then the inside is um, dark brown. The next one is this Sunfill Purple. This one, it's the outside is all green and then the inside is like a purple color. And then the next one is the Soraya. This is like your basic, typical sunflower, um, but they are, I believe, branching. They're supposed to be really great um, production wise. They're supposed to put out a lot of blooms. And the next one is the Pro Cut Plum. So this one is kind of a pale yellowy with a plum color uh, radiating from the inside of the petals. And then the last one is the Goldie Double. So the Goldie Double is kind of like the teddy bear sunflowers that I grew last year, but these ones should grow taller. And I think that they are branching as well, if I remember correctly. Um, but I loved the teddy bear sunflowers from last year. It's just that they're too short and, um, the germination on them was just kind of okay. I didn't plant a whole lot of them, but I think I only had two of them that actually like ended up flowering. Um, so I'm hoping that the Goldie Devil takes their place, uh, easily. So that is my seed haul for 2022, my spring seeds, all of these. And I'm very excited to get started. I'm probably going to go ahead and start them indoors tonight um, for most of them. And then the other things that we will be growing, I'm gonna go get my seed kit. All right, I have the rest of my seeds that we'll be growing that I wanna show you. Um, so these are not ones that I ordered recently. These were ordered um, either last spring or I placed it in my gardener order, I don't know, like five months ago. So we are going to be doing, for the tomatoes, again, only two varieties. We're going to do the Amish paste tomatoes. I grew these last year and they did really well. And then just some Romas. Um, again, going for production over just for fun and experimenting and because they're pretty. Some of them are because they're pretty, but mostly um, for production this year. Um, we're also going to be doing spaghetti squash. Love spaghetti squash. Make a mean spaghetti squash bake with it. 
and some baby bear pumpkins. And then we'll also be doing just like regular zucchini, yellow squash, and scallop squash. Um, and then we're gonna try some baby orchard corn. I got these last year and um, I don't think I, no, I did plant them, but I planted them at the wrong time because I was just experimenting to see what happened. Um, and then this is the okra that we grew last year, the Clemson Spineless. Again, it did fine, um, but I just wanted something that had a little bit more production. Um, this one, since I'm not using it this year, I might end up giving away. I probably should have put it in my giveaway post from Instagram, but I forgot. So I'm gonna put those with the terracotta tomatoes for future giveaways. Um, and then the other things that we're growing that I'm very excited about. Um, we're gonna do some noodle beans. So these ones are Chinese red noodle beans. These will be going on one of the arch trellises. And then we have Thai purple potted yard long beans. And then long beans, um, the Thai soldier ones. So I don't know if I'm actually gonna do all three varieties. Um, we'll see, because I, I only have so much space. I have three arch trellises, um, but we're also growing, um, we're also growing cucumbers. We're gonna do the uh, white wonder cucumbers from MI Gardener. Um, and then I might do some pickling cucumbers as well. So we're just kind of running out of space at this point. I haven't charted out where I'm putting everything yet, which I need to do tonight if I'm starting seeds. Cause I need to know how many of each plant I need for the garden. But anyways, um, I already told you we're doing some of the sunflowers again, the um, skyscraper ones I did last year. And then mammoth sunflowers. These ones are, I have two packs of mammoth apparently. Um, mammoth sunflowers. And then I thought I had, oh, I do have another pack. So I have some of the teddy bear sunflowers. So I'm gonna set these aside. These are gonna go in the giveaway pile since I have the Goldie Doubles now. Um, I grew these Velvet Queen ones last year. And like that picture, does them no justice. Like some of the ones that I got were almost black and they were beautiful. Um, so if you haven't grown Velvet Queens, do it. You'll be so happy. And then the last ones that I have, uh, the Pantasia sunflowers from Baker Creek grew these last year. Um, and I think most of the ones that I got from Fantasia were like that purpley color. Um, but these ones I will probably also put in the giveaway pile because now I have those um, plum ones from Johnny's Seeds. So I have a pretty good giveaway pile going on. And again, giveaways I will mainly be doing on Instagram. I feel like it's just like the easiest way for me to keep track of them. Um, and then I think that's it. We do have some other um, flowers that we'll be growing. So last year I grew coxcomb, um, dwarf coxcomb. I don't think I'm gonna be doing it this year because while it is gorgeous, since it's a dwarf variety, it just wasn't um, big enough for cut flowers. And um, that's what I'm focusing on this year. If I'm growing flowers and it's not one of the skyscraper um, sunflowers that's just going in the main garden beds, then I want it to be a cut flower. But I do have, oh, and marigolds. Because marigolds, one, I don't think I'm ever gonna be able to get rid of marigolds in my garden beds because they have reseeded constantly. Um, and I still have some snapdragons going. This is the kind of snapdragons I have planted, the tequila sunrise. And um, like even, we've had a couple freezes. It's gotten down to 29 the past couple of nights and um, they're fine. Like they died back when it got really hot over the summer and they came right back like they're fine so keeping those i got some yellow aster this is from mi gardener um so i'll be growing those and then i have a few different straw flower varieties i have apricot silvery rose and purple red so i'll be growing those for cut flowers and um, what else do I have in here? I just have some basic zinnia 
um, cut and come again mixes from Burpee. And then I do have my Cupid mix, which is mainly what I planted last year, but these ones are smaller. They're not the full size zinnias. These the heads are like this big. So they're really cute and um, the colors were really pretty, but for a cut flower arrangement, um, unless you're just doing like a little tiny like windowsill one and it's just the zinnias, which I did do a lot last year, um, they're not great just because size wise, it just kind of is hard to find other things that mesh with them I found. Um, but yeah, that is, I believe, everything that will be growing this year. Um, I cannot wait for my garden to keep expanding so I can grow even more. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments what your favorite thing is that I'm growing this year and what you'll be growing in your garden. And um, the next time I make a video, I'll probably be uh, showing you the started seeds. So bye guys.